Okay, in this example, we're going to graph y equals negative 3 fourths times cosecant of 1 half x. The first thing I'm going to do is determine the period. So cosecant has a period of 2 pi, and we'll divide that by the absolute value of b, which in this case is 1 half. So 2 pi divided by 1 half will give us 4 pi. And that's probably, to me, almost uh, uh, a good place to start. So normally cosecant has an asymptote at x equals 0 and an asymptote at x equals pi and also at x equals negative pi. And cosecant increases on the right side and it's decreasing on the left side. So that's my little rough sketch of cosecant. And again, cosecant, cosecant has this, uh, this period of 2 pi. But again, this has been doubled. So now instead of sitting at x equals pi and at x equals negative pi, instead of our vertical asymptotes being there, we're going to have vertical asymptotes at x equals 2 pi and at x equals negative 2 pi. And we still also have our asymptote at x equals 0. So the point right there in the middle would be pi and also at negative pi. So again, the, the portion to the right of the uh, y-axis, the, the first part that you would graph, normally is above the x-axis, but because of the negative 3 fourths, it's going to get reflected down. So that'll be the y-coordinate of negative 3 fourths. That'll be the value at pi. And then the graph will be decreasing. Likewise, at negative pi, the y value will be positive 3 fourths, and then it will increase. And then it just keeps repeating, 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 repeating. So that's one period of the graph. So in this case, the zeros, well, again, there are none. Cosecant doesn't cross the x-axis the vertical asymptotes are going to occur at multiples of 2 pi. So we can write that by saying x equals 2 pi times n, where n is an integer.